Right, so the next thing to look at is the regulator and rectifier, which I believe are about here somewhere. So obviously they're behind the side panel. Having looked at it, there's a set of Allen headed screws and I think there's a clip here. Need to be careful I don't break that when I'm taking it off around there. I don't think there are any other bits that I should be concerned about, but past experience has always said when you're taking a fair enough, there's a tab that they made specially to break. Let's hope it doesn't catch me out this time. There's a bolt or something behind here, so I need to remove this infill. Only the one underneath that panel there. You also need to remove this panel and find the hidden one. The dead are, so to speak. I mean, let's put that somewhere I'm going to stand on it. So, the observant amongst you will notice I snapped the tabs off this, thinking I've found the hidden screw behind there. Luckily, it's not too badly damaged, so I should be able to fix that. But, there we go. That's the side panel off. That was a bit of a torment. So, after all that, <laughs> regulator and rectifier. The replacement that I've got seems to have the same kind of wires coming out of it, but not necessarily in the same place. Two connectors. It's an RM stator. I'll put a link to that somewhere below. Uh, this is a MOSFET one. Let's see how we go on. the meters uh, 
no, this bike was running absolutely fine. So, charging and everything. So I've no reason to believe there's anything at all wrong with this. I'm only doing it because I've been warned that when they start playing up, which they can do after 10 years or so, the Triumph spec ones are not quite as high a technology as some of the replacement ones that you can get, and it burns the stator. So rather than take that chance, well I had the chance to get hold of one of these, I thought, let's just do it. Right. Close that two connectors. Right. Once you manage to have a look at these, it appears that it actually squeezes in the catch and then it falls down. Although after 10 years of being together, it's not quite as happy to pull as you would hope. Just a little bit of an easing. It really is annoying. <laughs> There we go. All it is is a little hook that goes under there that you should be able to press down and pull out. Even when it was released, I still struggled to get them out. Same connectors on here. It did worry me that they sent a set of spare connectors. I didn't want to start having to crimp them on. But now it's just a case of plug this back in, screw it back to the bike, and then I think I'll put the rest together so I can start it before I bring the side panel on, just in case I have any concerns. Regulators on, two connectors, I actually a rectifier, two connectors are done up, wiring seems to be routed okay, pudding wires are in, what I'm planning to do now is I'll shut the tank back on, I'll put the battery back on before I put the side panel on so I can start the bike up just to make sure it's running. I don't want to have to take the side panel off if I've got an issue, because um, it's such a faff. Wait till it's, see it's running before I uh, put it back on. Let's crack on. Bring the tank back on. Four things to connect up. The, uh, the gauge and the pump and such like wiring. Two vent hoses and the fuel line itself. Uh, need to get it in so that the front tab's under here and then we slide it down. See how we go. Next thing is to get the bolt through. From recollection, that can be a bit of a job. I remembered from last time I had the tank off, then what I had to do was put a screwdriver in so that I could lever the mount forward 
and fiddle until I could get the bolt in on this side. And it took quite a bit of fiddling, but eventually I got it in. Now I'll do. I just gently persuade it. Well, with a bit of fiddling, I'll get this to line up. I might have to put something in there and just pull it down. Be careful not to damage the tank. And just go through that last bit. Well, there's the bolt through. It takes a bit of faffing. Don't get overly stressed levering against the tank or anything like that, because that could really be a problem. You don't want to break it, especially if it's a plastic tank. Luckily my uh, glamorous assistant helped me. So while I was pushing a screwdriver against the centre to get it across, she just pushed the bolt through and it just went slid in. Pop the battery back on. Right. Under there. Sure, it came out easier than that. <laughs> oh, don't tell me that you have to have the tank undone to put the battery back in. That would be criminal. But true. No, I can't believe that. Well, uh, despite my uh, disparagement of Triumph Engineering with the case of the battery, I had to take the long bolt out and undo all of this so that I can move that up to get it in. Absolutely no other way that I can see. If you do have other ways, please send them in. Buy a smaller battery, someone might say. That's my fingers caught. There we go, that's that in. All I have to do now is wrestle the rest of it in and connect it up. I won't make you suffer through all of that. Decided I'd probably connect up the battery first before I do all the rest, just in case. A bit like not putting the side panel on. So, I've had to cross these over to get that to fit on. I might have used the side junction, uh, side connectors, but That'd be even more fiddly, I think, on this bike, so I'm going to go from there. I will connect up my uh, battery charger.
oil and give it power. Next thing to do will be to see will it actually start and does it look like it's charging. There you go, seems to be running exactly like it was before I started and that's the first time I've started this bike in about probably two months I think, so it didn't do so bad. Um, like I say, running just like it did, but now I've changed these cables, hopefully it'll put less stress on the starter, so I shouldn't have a problem there, having changed the, alternate, uh, the regulator and rectifier. Hopefully my stator won't burn itself into a frazzle. Um, what I think I'd say now is, in the words of the famous workshop manual, reassembly of the side panel and everything is the opposite of disassembly. So I'll just crack on with that. Hope you enjoyed what we've done. <laughs>